attention. The purpose of the videos is to get you to think. Turn your brains on and begin to think and realize or use logic and reason and realize that religion is not real. <clears throat> For this video, I'd like to speak on um, a clergy that's out here that I guess is turning things upside down out here for young people. And he goes by the name of Prophet Joshua Holmes. Now I've seen him here and there and it's all foolishness to me. Same foolishness, different package, it's just a newer version of it. You know, the hitting people with his coats and they yield and got the followers and even has these females, you know, African-American females who on Facebook have changed their last name to Holmes and is calling this man their, their savior or their father and, and, and you don't have the Holy Spirit if you don't know him and even going so far as to calling this man Jesus in the flesh. Um, for all your hate, all you haters, if you don't know Prophet Joshua Holmes, you ain't got the Holy Spirit. That's all I gotta say. You don't know Prophet, you don't know Jesus. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, because he's changing lives every day. He is Jesus in the flesh. He is he is Jesus in the flesh. He is he is Jesus in the flesh. He is very tangible. Hit the power of God on him. Just because he throws his jacket. If you, because you can't throw your jacket. Exactly. It, you know, I mean, if you can't throw your jacket, I can understand why. So you, you got to realize this is this is now 2019. This is going on. So you can only imagine back when the, the other Jesus Christ was supposedly around how these same stories could happen. If we have this going around in 2019 with all of the camera work we have and everything, I mean, people are believing this man to be a messiah. How many other messiahs were there who were just either regular people or never existed that, you know, got the same type of accolades? You know, you gotta look at this type of thing. So I look at the man, like I said, and, uh, a little pretty boy, and. I guess the girls like him, and it's mostly females I'm seeing. I'm not really seeing any guys. I'm not saying that the guys are not following him, but I'm not seeing it. And the clips I'm seeing is, is just full, the same foolishness, dancing and money, laying people out, you know, giving some message that they, you know, I guess they want to hear. <laughs> And yet again, our people fall for it. Yet again, they fall for it. And then the people that are the most offended by this, of course, are other Christians. And I sit back like, wow, you know, you're offended at the way this man presents the myth. Not like it's real. You just don't like the way he presents the myth and is benefiting uh, financially from the myth of Jesus Christ. Because either way, none of it's real. I mean, Jesus hasn't stepped in and said anything. There hasn't been any God that stepped in and said anything. So it's just yet another fight of Christian on well, Christian, Christian fighting. Yet again, all foolishness. If you, if you, if you're against what the man is doing, research it for yourself and see it's 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 fake. How long are we gonna go on and 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 keep playing this church game? You had a little boy on the things that what he said. I'm tired of this church. I'm tired of the church. Oh, that's your that's a Right, y'all forcing a little boy to go there. His brain probably already figured out already from watching. Pokemon and, and everything else that this Teen Titans that this stuff is fake But he's gonna be forced to go to church doesn't mean he's gonna believe it But I mean, it's like how long are we gonna keep doing this? We got China right now. China is closing churches down knocking the buildings down burning the Bibles 
even locking up priests. And you got over here in Finland now, they did research and study to realize how psychologically damaging religion can be. It is. It's, it's, it's mental insanity. A bunch of, a group of people come together to, to worship an imaginary friend that does absolutely nothing. I mean, the children are getting molested in the church. He's not showing up. Uh, I mean, you know, women getting beaten. The money is getting stolen. It's made a mockery of. And all the men got to do is come back the next Sunday and talk about how they was a victim of sleeping with somebody else or whatever. And, and they're forgiven and, and things go on as usual. The people are continually blinded thinking Satan has done all of this when I haven't seen any anything about a Satan anywhere. It's us doing it. If you did it, you did it. I don't see anybody go to court and the judge is like, well, we're going to let you off because Satan did make you do that. So we're going to let you go and charge that to Satan. That's on him. He'll get his in the end in the lake of fire. No, they're going to charge you for what you did. When people get upset with other people for, uh, for hurting them, they don't charge it to Satan saying, well, yeah, Satan did that. No, they stop dealing with that person. So we putting stuff off on Satan when it's us doing it. And then you look at all this foolishness going on with the clergy running wild doing whatever they want to do. That's not a Satan, that's them doing it. So here we are, like I said, I did the video about, uh, what's that guy's name? Um, the one that just bought, bought his wife the $200,000 uh, Lamborghini or whatever. And he wants to do a video, uh, not a video, he does, does his Sunday morning service and makes it like the woman uh, was the devil and he was the victim. How does that work? Gonna make it like the woman is, is the devil and he's the victim. Doesn't work that way, bro. You got her phone number and you invited her to your room. Man up and say that's what happened. And then his wife gonna join in and say, uh, yeah, that, that talking to the woman and the devil at the same time about how Oh, you know that the devil did this and and called a woman names or whatever. You know, I understand you upset that that the devil ain't nothing to do with that. That was all your husband, and he bought you that car to smooth things out at home. That's all that was about. So, uh, what was his name? I can't remember his name. But we back on Joshua Holmes right now. And even in 2019, there's a a, a guy named uh, Rabbi Menachem Mendel Schneerson. And he died some years ago. I'll put that on the screen. And people believe him to be the Messiah that's going to come back and do whatever it is. They call him the rabbi. And he's been gone. So we're talking about in our lifetime, people who have been turned into uh, deities. This is how, how mentally unstable this stuff can be, that you can fool grown people into believing that people are deities, messiahs, and they're coming to save them. This is how sick it has gotten. It's tough It's tough for people to wake up, and I know I, I look in my comments, and of course I'm going to have a couple of trolls and Christians, whoever, oh, you got to come back to God. God had plenty of time to talk to me if he wanted to talk. Jesus had plenty of time when I was representing him to come on in and say something. So I realized all the talking that was being done was in my head. That was me. I understand what it is now, and I'm thankful to be out. Very thankful to be out. And once you see how the magic trick is done, you can't go back to it. Once you see uh, the Wizard of Oz is just a man back there pulling them strings and causing the smoke, you can't go back to believing he's all powerful. You see how it works. And I don't even go so far as even with the people who say, well, you know, the most high. And the most high is, I, I haven't seen anybody claiming to be most high. And the most high I've seen is the sun. And the sun is not saying anything. It's just creating warmth and light. It's uh, rising and setting. But I don't see it writing books and telling us to worship it and what have you. There is no most high that I've seen. And people talking about us a he. I never understood how you'll say the most high is a he anyway when all of us come from a she. I don't, I, like I said, you compare Mother's Day and Father's Day. Mother's Day is... is, is you got a two hour, two hour, three hour wait on a table where it's Father's Day right on the spot. You can get a booth for table or sit at the bar. You know, Mother's Day got commercials and gifts to buy. Father's Day is a phone call. Hey, Dad, just want to wish you a happy Father's Day. 
but then y'all want to come up and say that the God is a he. You know, anybody knows a family is the father, the mother, and the child, and then you come to Christianity, the female aspect has been removed, and now it's father, son, holy ghost. And then Mary has just made the virgin, but she's in the background somewhere. I'm leading off on something totally different already. I'm going off on a whole other tangent here. Let me get back to what I was saying. It's, it's in 2019, while we still believe in, in God, in Jesus, in a holy book. Come on, people, let's wake up from this foolishness. And y'all know Joshua Holmes ain't no different than any other crook out here. He's just going to get his slice of the pie off of the, uh, the naive people who choose to believe he's more than what he is, a man. But when his wife was beating him on that video, he looked like a man. I guess that was, that was his crucifixion. Y'all go check him out on YouTube if you want a little pretty boy or whatever. That's just my two cents on it. Let's wake up, people. Wake up. Realize, use logic and reason. Realize religion is false. I'll see y'all on the next video. Peace.